And thank you all for coming to the 2014 Farmer of the Year Awards for Queen Anne's County. We've been doing this award for several years. We keep the uh, poster boards essentially and we have a farmer display down at the Chesapeake uh, Heritage and Visitor Center. If you ever want to come down, you can stroll through memory lane and see all those uh, farmers that have been recognized in years before. But this year we're recognizing two families and the first one we're going to ask to come up is the Eck family. Would Mark and Vicki and their family please come up? And then we're going to ask all the legislators that are here to recognize the family as well to join us on stage. Is everybody here? Okay. I'm not sure how many of you have visited the Home Arts Building, but what I'm about to read is essentially on display in the Home Arts Building. And each family will receive a copy of this framed for uh, posterity's sake when they take it home. Mayview Farms was established in 1990, but agriculture has been a part of Mark's ex-life forever. Raised on a dairy farm with his father and uncle, he diversified in high school when he built his first chicken house in 1977. Mark now has seven poultry houses in two locations. Throughout the years, the farming operation has expanded to include 1,500 acres of land. Primary grain crops are corn, soybeans, wheat, and barley. Mark indicates the most significant change in agriculture have been technology related, with controllers, ventilation, feeders, and alarms in the poultry houses. Technological advances on equipment has also changed. Mark was recognized recently in 2014 by DPI as one of its outstanding poultry producers. He currently serves as Queen Anne's County Park Board Chairman. And it's thanks to Mark and all the members of the Park Board that keep this wonderful place alive for everyone to enjoy today. Mark met his wife Vicki at St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Ingleside. Vicki works off the farm doing title work that she loves. As with most families, she's been an integral part of keeping the kids active and participating in 4-H, FFA, and sports. Their eldest son, Alan, has been recognized for his agricultural achievements at the local, state, and national level. And he took diversification on the farm one step further with the addition of straw, beef, and market hogs to the operation. Easton, Alan's son, advises us that they now have 32 pigs. Is that right? 32 pigs. Kenny was home from South Carolina where he attends the Winthrop University and is majoring in exercise science and pre-physical therapy. Kenny is a member of Kappa Sigma fraternity and tributes his farm upbringing to his interest in philanthropic initiatives that are supported by the fraternity. Janelle, the youngest and only daughter, has recently been named Maryland State FFA President. Wow. The future voice of agriculture here in Maryland. She has been immersed in conferences, workshops, and has been leading FFA members across the state in the importance of ag education and becoming more engaged as spokesperson for agriculture. The family recognizes the importance of agriculture in their lives and is thankful to God for the many blessings they have received over the years. Mark, would you like to say anything? It's just an honor to be recognized by our peers throughout this county. It's also been a pleasure to, to farm and raise a family here in Queen Anne's County. And it's been a pleasure to um, volunteer through the 4-H and the FFA, the fair, and the other county organizations with the Farm Bureau, Soybean Board that I've been involved with. And like I say, it's been an honor to 
raise a family and and just be here on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, just I want to thank you and thank um, all those who have helped our family with the success that we've achieved over the years. And I would like to say a special thanks to two employees that I have, Bobby Kozier and Joseph Lee, who have also helped our operation to exceed to where it is today. And I also want to thank our good Lord and our son, Jesus Christ, for all that he's blessed us with and given us the opportunity to be the stewards of his land and have the opportunity to raise the livestock that he has provided for us. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Denise Lovelady. She's from Congressman Andy Harris's office. She has a presentation. Hi, good evening, everybody. It's my privilege to be here tonight to present the Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition to the Mark and Vicki Eck family in recognition of being awarded the 2014 Queen Anne's County Farm Family of the Year. Senator Steve Hershey. In a gallery. <clears throat> Thank you very much. As Mark said, it, it's truly a great honor for us as well to be able to present you with this citation on behalf of the Senate of Maryland. Uh, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Mark and Vicki Eck of Mayview Farms in recognition of your longtime service to the community and agriculture industry and recognition as Queen Anne's Camley Farm Family of the Year. Congratulations. Delegate Steve Ahrens. Good evening. It's, it's uh, truly a privilege to be up here, not only to be in front of you home folks at Queen Anne's County, but also to honor some very good friends and very good people in the county. Um, my name is Steve Ahrens. I'm here representing the Eastern Shore Delegation, which is myself as chair, Jay Jacobs and Mike Schmeagle, your delegates. Um, and I'd just like to say, this is a great guy. This is, this is a great honor to be here to do that. And in honor to that, the Maryland General Assembly, we have an official citation. Is be it hereby known to all, the sincerest congratulations are offered to Mar Mark and Vicki Eck of the Mayview Farms in recognition of their contribution to agriculture, the community of Queen Anne's County. Presented this 13th day of August, 2014, on behalf of the Queen Anne's County House Delegation, Steve Ahrens Chair, Jay Jacobs, and Mike Schmeagle. It's truly an honor. Thank you very much. And now we have Commissioner James Moran. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Jim Moran. I'm your at-large county commissioner, uh, representing the rest of your county commissioners that are at MACO right now. Uh, they're sorry they couldn't be here to present this proclamation and the Certificate of Excellence. Uh, I would just like to say, Mark, your, your comments were spot on. And uh, I, I think that that's, you're an inspiration to the rest of us. Thank you. Uh, I have Proclamation 1431 I'd like to read. Whereas Queen Anne's County has a long heritage and tradition of farming industries which sustain the economy and lend unique character to our community, and whereas generations of county citizens have dedicated their lives and made their livelihood from harvesting grains and produce from the soils of Queen Anne's County and raising livestock on the lands of the county, and whereas the legacy of the farmer is an integral part of the history and lore of our county, and whereas certain individuals and families have spent many years of their lives continuing this legacy, and whereas it is important to recognize the significant role of these noteworthy farmers and to preserve and perpetuate the great tradition of their work, now therefore we the county commissioners of Queen Anne's County do hereby proclaim the month of August 2014 as, as the uh, month of the farmer in Queen Anne's County, signed by the county commissioners.
I also have a certificate of excellence presented to Mark and Vicki Eck of Mayview Farms in recognition as a 2014 noteworthy farm family for their service to agriculture in the community. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your service. Thank you, Mark and Vicki and Janelle and Ken and uh, Alan and Easton for being here. And if you want to go right around back, we have Megan Messick from the Delmarva Farmer, and she's going to take some pictures for you. Right? Good. Yep. What? What? Oh. No, we have the Arnold. Can I have the Arnold family come up? Bob and Sarah and their family? We had a poultry farmer, and now we have a produce farmer. Bob and Sarah Arnold uh, own and operate Arnold Farms. It's located on Double Creek Point Road, and the address is Chestertown, but they do live in Queen Anne's County. They operate a 360-acre produce farm. The produce product line is diversified from sweet corn, cauliflower, cabbage, peppers, cantaloupes, eggplants, and leeks to cut flowers and more. Bob Arnold, originally from New Jersey, serves as the current president of the Queen Anne's County Farm Bureau. Many of you probably attended the 65th and last Delmarva Poultry Industry Chicken Festival here at the park in June of this year. Farm Bureau was an integral part of the success of that event, and it was a wonderful event with approximately 30,000 people in attendance. Bob appreciates the multi-generational effort it takes to put together an event like that and the cohesiveness of the agricultural community. He indicates that technology-related changes in agriculture have not impacted produce farmers to the same extent as grain farming but from a, from a production perspective, but it has definitely changed how they sell their product. Harvesting produce remains a very labor-dependent process. Sarah, Bob's wife, is an English for Speakers of Other Languages teacher for Queen Anne's County High School System. She serves at schools in Sudlersville and Churchill. She's also responsible for taking Arnold Farms to the public through its produce stands and through participating at the Chestertown Farmers Market for the last 15 years. She enjoys the interaction and explaining to people the intricacies of cleaning and preparing fruits and vegetables. She says she has to talk to a lot of people about leaks and what you have to do to clean a leak. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> Bobby, the eldest son, enjoys life on the farm and driving the tractors. It seems some of his fondest memories revolve around someone or something getting stuck. While frustrating at the time, the entire family seemed to laugh at those memories. Peter, the second son, loves watching and finding growing uh, focus, finds growing and focusing on the amazing ability of one seed that's planted to be nurtured into producing a viable crop for sale and distribution. Brian, the youngest son, appreciates the family and farming, but has suggested that a career in military engineering might be in his future. Acknowledging a life dedicated to agriculture brings both rewards and challenges in the Arnold family, but they are ready to deal with both of them with hard work and laughter sprinkled in. Congratulations to the Arnold family. Again, we have Denise Lovelady. Congratulations. Certificate of Special Congressional Recognition presented to the Bob and Sarah Arnold family in recognition of being awarded the 2014 Queen Anne County's Farm Family of the Year. All right. <laughs> Once again, it's our privilege uh, on behalf of the Senate of Maryland to award this uh, official citation, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Bob and Sarah Arnold and your three sons of Arnold Farms in recognition of your longtime service to the community and the agriculture industry. Thank you. 
back again. Um, I do have to apologize. I gave myself a field promotion while I was up here last. Uh, I'm really the chair of the Queen Anne's County House delegation. Um, <laughs> all that being said, um, it's an honor and a privilege again to be up here, as always. I met Bob a few years ago. Um, we have a Maryland, House of Gen Maryland General Assembly official citation. Uh, be it hereby known to all that sincere congratulations are offered to the Bob and Sarah Arnold family of Arnold Farms in recognition of their contribution to agriculture, the community, and Queen Anne's County. Presented this 13th day of August 2014 on behalf of the Queen Anne's County House Delegation, Steve Ahrens, Jay Jacobs, and Mike Schmeagle. Again, congratulations to the whole family. Did a great job. Okay, and I, uh, the, the county commissioners uh, have a certificate of excellence to present to Bob and Sarah Arnold of Arnold Farms in recognition of their 2014 noteworthy farm family for the service to the agricultural and the community. There's that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we also have a proclamation, a proclamation 1431. Whereas Queen Anne's County has a long heritage and tradition of farming industries which, which sustain, sustain the economy and lend unique character to our community, and whereas generations of county citizens have dedicated their lives and made their livelihood from harvesting grains, produce from the soils of Queen Anne's County, and raising livestock on the lands of the county, and whereas the legacy of the farmer is an integral part of the history and lore of our county, and whereas certain individuals and families have spent many years of their lives continuing this legacy, and whereas it is important to recognize the significant role of these noteworthy farmers and to preserve and perpetuate the great tradition of their work, now therefore we the County Commissioners of Queen Anne's County do hereby proclaim the month of August 2014 as the month of the farmer in Queen Anne's County. Signed your County Commissioners. Thank you. Appreciate it. In 1988, I moved to Queen Anne's County from North Jersey, and I, I had a lot of doubts, and my family had doubts about whether that was the right decision. I'd always wanted to live on the Eastern Shore, and I'd, I'd looked around at places in Delaware and other places in Maryland, but we settled on Queen Anne's County, and I'm certainly glad that I did. Queen Anne's County is a great place to raise a variety of different crops, but the best thing to raise in Queen Anne's County is your family. And we enjoy living here and really appreciate the citizens and people of Queen Anne's County. So thank you very much. That concludes this evening's uh, presentations. Thank you so much for coming.